Greetings, and welcome to my Nobunaga's Ambition Let's Play. My name is Jay, uh, and this is part two of the Let's Play series. So, uh, we started just as a recap, and uh, we started as the Shimazu clan, which is uh, this daimyo down here. And um, so we're in the um, uh, corner of Kyushu Islands, and uh, my primary goal is going to be taking this entire island over. Uh, and um, uh, so I believe I'm going to focus on the Shimadu clan here and uh, try and take out his two cities here first. Uh, currently I have a quest in Uchi Castle here um, by the uh, volcano Sakurajima and uh, the uh, city here barely has any troops. It's a 788. Here we have uh, I think close to 3,000 or 2,249. So <coughs> once I complete the quest uh, that I'm currently working on which is getting crafts up to 350 I believe uh, oh, 400. So getting the crafts at Uji Castle up to 400. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be attempting to getting this tribe here and this tribe here, the uh, Kamo and uh, Kaizoin tribes to uh, be, uh, befriend them in order to hopefully help against uh, Hilasa. And then once this is captured, build it up a little bit and then finally come for uh, this capital over here at um, uh, uh, Izumi Castle. So I, I believe this is the capital. I'm only guessing because it's the place with the handshake sign. I haven't really gotten a confirmation on that, but that's the assumption that I'm going on. Uh, and before I begin, I kind of wanted to elaborate and slash make a correction on a uh, comment that I made uh, in the last video that I, after uh, rereading some of the parts of the manual, I realized was wrong. Uh, the roads system uh, does enable you to move faster, but it also actually uh, increases population between the cities. If the road goes through a mountain range, then it's uh, one to th uh, th three points, and if it goes on the uh, plains, then it has five points. And the higher the number, the better uh, movement and the better population uh, density you'll get uh, between the connected cities. So, uh, assuming that road networks uh, can also be improved uh, on these waterways, but I've only seen, at least in my area, uh, five of five, so I'm not entirely sure how that works. Um, maybe it's just perfect for all of them, um, but nevertheless, uh, let's get into the game and uh, complete this quest at Uji Castle. So... As I said, we're going to be developing crafts in order to get to the completion of this quest. And uh, I need to befriend those two tribes. I don't like how they angle. There we go. I, if I can get these approval ratings higher, they'll help me in battle. So the idea is that hopefully whenever I go attack Hilasa Castle, whenever I bring over a large portion of my 2,000 troops, I can get them to help me, so guaranteed success. And, uh, yeah, so I believe this month probably uh, coming, I'll actually complete the quest. Hopefully... Okay, so both of the tribes are interested in us, but no indication that they'll actually help us. Uh, 58% and 67% approval ratings. Okay. Uh, get back to development. And, alright. And... support. 
Uh, one thing that I did find a little odd, um, the Shimazu clan is actually known for introducing the rifle or Archibus uh, to Japan uh, through trade with the Portuguese. And uh, they're also renowned uh, for their tactics and use of the Archibus within battle. And I find a little odd how the Shimazu clan actually uh, doesn't start with any rifles. Um, gonna have to figure out and develop my cities to uh, increase, I guess, my crafts in order to build back blacksmiths to build rifles, but I just I find it a little weird how I don't start with archibuses. Uh, other than that, um, this game is uh, proven to be pretty fun. Okay, we just broke even And it looks like the two tribes, uh, Kamo and Kaizo and tribes, will actually support us now. And um, one of our generals has increased his uh, stats. Okay. My guess is that uh, the Shimazu clan may not have had guns after a certain point. Maybe they gave them to Oda. Um, I'm not entirely... I'm not, I don't actually know. Uh, if anybody knows uh, why, historically, they wouldn't have rifles, let me know. Uh, I'd be really interested to find out. Um, okay, so this... Okay, this should complete the quest. And uh, our labor is not increasing that much. But our koku is basically staying the same, so that's good. Uh... Okay. Raising the castle's craft to 400 has been complete. And... Let's find out what happens. Tadaki. My liege, our town has developed beautifully. Now gathering soldiers and expanding our territory has come into the realm of reality. This is the wish of the people as well. Let us bring them prosperity and grant them more lands to dwell on. This more than anything is the role of a daimyo in the age of war. the politician trait. Next step, unification. Well, we're definitely going to be working on unifying the island of Kyoku. Uh, my liege, our territory is still lacking, though our people may thrive. There is a limit to how many soldiers we can support. Rather than waiting ourselves to death, let us conquer our neighbors. I really hope that's the guy above us. Um, we must steal enemy land and increase our territory, and not just mere fortresses either. Let us aim for castles. Territory expansion start. Uh, don't have many castles, you need only to steal a few, such as the way of the world that we live in, and such as the path of the daimyo. Proceed with historical quest. It's interesting because uh, before starting uh, this game as the Shimazu, I actually uh, started as um, one of the other minor generals over by uh, Hojo. So, uh, near, I guess, central Japan. Uh, and these quests didn't happen, so I'm wondering if this game actually only has the historical quests if you play as one of the major uh, daimyo in Japan, um, instead of it having quests for everybody, or maybe it's age-dependent, I'm not entirely sh certain. Uh, I, I guess it would 
makes sense that maybe some of them don't have any quests, but nevertheless, uh, let's accept this quest here. Capture a castle. Okay. Oh. Miaolu clan was eliminated by Amago clan. Okay. Another one. Okay, so we made a good 623 gold, and the general has gotten better at stats. Uh, not at statistics, but has gotten better stats. Uh, with the development of Halada Castle, crafts seem to have hit its ceiling. What would you say for building a facility? How about changing fair to a town fair uh, to develop crafts? Use the add command. Okay. Um, it didn't actually specify any territory expansion. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter which castle. Perfect. Failure doesn't say. And, okay, so that lines up perfectly with me wanting to take out this castle up here, um, Izumu Castle. So, just let me quickly check these approval ratings. Didn't really drop, and didn't really drop. Perfect. Uh, so... Uh, add. So it looks like we have two districts. This one crafts D crops. So let's increase this. And they suggested to do town fair. Makes the district suitable for crafts. And it's next one coin exchange. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think. Okay, that, I think that makes sense. Let's send uh, Shimazu to do that. It's gonna cost a lot of money. So I have four um, labor points left. Um, you know, I'm a little concerned about this town up here. I'm gonna increase its... Uh, conscripts. Just because it's my north, mo most northern town. I'm gonna end the turn there. Oh, people are dropping like flies. Oops, wrong button. I'm just gonna try and zoom out. Uh, yeah, the, before I had played as um, the Satomi clan, and I didn't get any quests. I didn't play very long, but I almost instantly got quests to the Shimazu clan. Uh, holy crap, Hojo's on the move. Not that that really concerns me, but... Okay, uh, in the red by 300. And some training. Okay. Oops. Okay, so I'm uh, not entirely certain if I have to bring Koku or something with. Uh, and goods with my soldiers as they leave so their morale stays up. I'm gonna guess yes. 6800 Koku isn't very much, so I think I'm going to trade. Uh, goods. And sell some. The rate's not that. Almost one per one. Uh, 
So let's do 2,000. Okay. Um. I guess now I'll spy to see and make sure that the 828 is accurate uh, before I actually go in. Uh, yeah, reconnaissance on an enemy. Uh, oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, probably because it's up to, excuse me, up-to-date information. Oh, let's just cancel that then. Uh, and I guess it's March. Okay, so deploy. No. Yes. Organize. Oh. Oh, you can tell them how to go down the roads. It's really cool. Oh, it's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, and, and confirm. This will execute set orders. Yes. Sound the battle horn. Okay, so. Messenger has come from Sashu uh, Shimadu clan. Will you accept? I'll accept the audience just to be honorable about it. And he wants to form an alliance. I'm going to refuse for obvious reasons. Oh, that was a quick, quick battle. Capturing bases. A unit will automatically surround an enemy base once in front of it. The morale gauge will be displayed above the surrounded bases and gradually decrease. When the morale gauge becomes empty, the base is captured. The speed at which the morale gauge falls depends on the surrounding unit's intelligence, the base castle's lord's leadership, the hit points of the base, and the troops surrounding the units of the base itself. However, when the surrounded unit units do not have more troops than the base has HP, the morale gauge will not fall. Uh, you can choose to storm or raise. They went over that in the tutorial. Uh, it's not in my let's play, but it's probably one. Another one's probably up there. I just didn't really want to do the tutorial uh, and, and record it. Uh, sometimes surrounded bases will voluntarily surrender. Okay. Uh, this is determined by the castle's lord's abilities and loyalty, the size of the enemy army, and reinforcements and so on. Okay. Right. Okay, so the war report comes first, uh, since there has been battle. We have Hirasa Castle surrounded by a force of 2,000. It's only a matter of time. Okay. And totally gone through the roof and profit. That's good. And just training. Okay, so let's take a look closer what's going on over here. Alright, so it looks like uh, Hilala Castle has uh, 150 troops left. So, you, yeah, they're not, they're not doing very good. Uh, but what I will do here is actually conscript uh, some troops if I can. Yep. Perfect. Just to replace the troops that will now be at uh, Hilasa Castle. Um, okay, and I have six development points. And I'm going to try and develop this city over here. And, uh, okay, um, infrastructure going, no, already did that one. Yeah, this one, crops. 
perfect. Okay, let's slow this down a little bit just because I actually want to see what happens in the battle. Oh, a little finicky. Okay, so if I go up to these guys, uh, controlling units. I'm just gonna read this quickly. Select the relay points. Okay. Okay. Right, they kind of went over this in the tutorial. Okay. Uh, so. Oh. Damn it. Where do we go? There we go. And I want to. Lhasa Castle says they'll surrender. Looks like the fight is ours. Take show. Perfect. Let's just end this one thing. Yōjō hajime mashō. Senketsu no shūshi desu. Okay, so it doesn't look like sending the troops actually cost me anything. Other than the troops themselves. I'm guessing that I have to give these guys orders to go back home or something. Let us decide what to do with the captives. Please select those you wish to employ, and those you wish not to employ will either be freed or executed. Well, I believe more troops the better. I don't know if this game has some sort of limit on officers to cities like the latest Dynasty Warriors Empires had, which is friggin' annoying. I'm um, hoping it's like romance and you can just have as many officers as you can actually hire. Uh, with the Shimadu clan still active and well, I am unable to serve a new master. Okay. Oh, I should have read his name. I think it was th this guy. Oh, I, th I guess they both did that? Whoa. I figured I would be able to either force them to commit seppuku or release them. Okay. Please select those who wish to- okay, execute. Those uh, you neither execute nor employ will be released. Uh, let's just send them back. Okay. Uh, yes, the disadvantage, obviously, of doing what I just did is that uh, obviously uh, my enemy has his officers still, but at this point in the game, if I can increase the awe of different officers and hopefully um, get them to like me, then once I eradicate all of the Shimazu clan, then, uh, sorry, that's me, um, all of the enemy clan, then, uh, uh, maybe they'll be more likely to join. So I'm just gonna get everybody to enter in this city. I believe that's everybody. Well, that's interesting. So we lost a lot of troops by doing that. More than I anticipated. Okay, so obviously we're going to be using our development points in order to fix that. And here. And 
towards the new castle that I'm at. Alright, I can only do one at a time. Which is kind of silly. If I have more officers, I would figure that I'd be able to do more improvements. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I should... What was that note? So I don't have any... Units. Let's just let this end. Uh... Susui. Um... So even giving my life, I could not bind this land together. Susui, clan's leader... Uh, has died. Um, and Junsho has inherited it from Junko and become the new daimyo. Okay. Uh, one or more castles lack someone to protect them. Let's assign lords before they are attacked. How do I tell which ones those are? Oh, I bet you that's uh, Uchi Castle. There is one officer here. Oh, no officers here. Yes, it's very dangerous. Court trust zero. How come I don't see... Officer info. Okay. Let's send Yoshihisa back to uh, the border town. How do you do that again? Transfer officers. Okay. Here. From here. This guy. And we'll send this one. Confirm. We can expect those kinds of results. Is this okay? What's the difference between continue and confirm? Okay. officers, has officers. So... Okay, so I'm going to send out and deploy... Actually, no. I'm going to see if I can actually befriend uh, this guy here. Oh, wow, that's a big jump. Uh, bountiful harvest. Negotiations with the tribe went well. Training. It's perfect. Let's do that again. Oh, this one. With caution, how about appeasing them? to send out officers. To gain support. With as many as I can. Go 
くだされ先月の終始です報告いたしますぞ OK Okay, so keep on thinking that L2 is zoom out. Um, got a pretty good approval rating. Sort of fixed that approval rating. I wish they like us. Oh, they don't like us. They're very independent. I'm not aware if the tribes will attack me just out of spite. Kind of like the、uh, barbarians and some of the earlier romance games. So the friendship there is normal. I'm just going through and checking to see if they're refused. Normal. Okay, so everybody seems to have kept normal with me after taking out that castle, so that's good. And I took over the castle and it didn't actually complete. Uh, the quest. Why is that? Capture a castle, I just did that. Don't have many castles, need to only steal a few. A few. Okay, maybe I have to do more than one then. Or this doesn't qualify as a castle. Nevertheless. Prove the crop gain and over here as well. Actually, I'm going to change this to crafts because we built a development upgrade here. Okay, so I guess most of my troops actually ended up coming back to Uchi Castle. Um, I wonder why. I presume it's due to a population issue. We don't want、uh, Talimiza to Mizu to attack, so I'm not gonna argue.、Uh, let's further develop conscripts. Maybe get this above a thousand before I actually head out. The head of the Masudala clan、uh, was famous for his bravery despite his young age. In the blink of an eye, he had increased the size of his army and taken control of Mikawa. But in Kiyoyasa's camp, an incident was breaking out. Prepare to die, Kiyoyasa. Yasu? Your Masutoyo, what are you thinking? This is revenge for killing my father. 
Oh, okay. You're your father. You imbecile, you set this up. I can't die here. If I die, what will become of Masu Daiola clan? Masu Toyo's father had been suspected of rebellion, which caused Masatoyo to be plagued by paranoia. He mistakenly assumed an incident involving his horse running wild in Kiyoyasu's camp had resulted in his father's punishment, and this led him to assassinate Kiyoyasu. Kiyoyasu had been regarded as a man of great talent, and with his death, the Masudaila clan lost much of its influence. Um, Hilo Tada has inherited um, from Kiyoyasu and become the new daimyo. Okay. Nothing really happened last, last month. Okay, so we have over 800 troops, and as far as I'm concerned, it looks like that I couldn't spy up here, so... I'm gonna send troops up to that castle, try and... Boy, 140 archibuses, but in red. Muskets have not arrived yet. Cannot deploy with them. That's so weird. Oh, I can increase or decrease. Okay, so let's do 70% and deploy. Neither hostile nor interested. Okay, well, they should be interested. <laughs> because I'm going to slaughter them. Alright, so, um... Develop. We'll do commerce, do what the guy suggests. I agree with the conscripts comment. And this one down here, he's suggesting conscripts as well, and that's a good plan, I think. Oops. Okay, let's save some of these points. Oh. The Aki clan was eliminated by Choso Kabe clan on December 1535. It's all those little clans that only have... Whoa, okay, another one. Uh, the likes of Tadasuke Hongo's unit is no match for us. Wonder why there was no war council. All the training has paid off. Okay. So zoom in here. Can I give him orders? Select target home. 128. Soldiers. Prisoners. have provisions for 90 days, so I'm a little confused as to why there's only 128 soldiers there. My guess is that the officers took out a bunch of those people. 221 soldiers. Why is that number not reflected? I guess I have to spy on them again. Uh, zoom out. Okay. 
Okay, so... Hmm. What's confusing me is... Sometimes I see... Oh, did this? What's confusing me? I'm curious as to why I don't always see the troop number. Um... I digress, it would just be useful information to always be able to see it if I know the information. Kind of like my own cities here. Uh, I think that unit's going to die. Let's march out these people. A hundred horsemen. Okay. And I'm going to see about No, nope, that's the wrong action. Upgrading the city. So this already has a town fair. Um, conscripts of D. So there's a reservoir here. We have a force of a thousand around Izumi Castle, but we need more soldiers. This won't be simple without reinforcements. Four hundred and ten plus thirty-five is another thousand. <laughs> Wonder if I can ask the guy to surrender. Guess not. Oh, what does this say? We can increase our allies to diplomacy. Troops from, I guess, Uchi Castle, if I can. Oh, oh there's no officers there because I just sent them out. Um, okay, I believe there's extra officers here. This city and this city. Oh, the daimyo can't move from Uchi Castle. Why can't the daimyo move? Oh, 
Let's cancel this. Oh, they're retreating. We have a force of a thousand men around Izumi Castle. Yet need men. We won't be able to capture it without reinforcements. Let's save it with those numbers. More soldiers. Makes sense. And these focusing on agriculture. Okay. Uh, business is booming. Crafts. For the most part, I'm just taking the AI suggestion for what I should develop. Um, I don't really have a micro goal at this point, except for just taking out that one clan. Uh, more soldiers. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough labor. Uh, so that's why I'm just... Um, Taking the suggestions of the. Okay, so how do I do this? After the death of the great ruler Uji Chika Imagawa, who had played a large role in the growth of in the Imagawa clan, he was replaced by the young Uji Teru Imagawa. Unlike Uji Chika, Uji Teru was not fit to rule this, the clan, and due to the fact that he was prone to falling sick, his mother Ju Kaimi, sometimes called the female daimyo, advised him in political matters. Uji Te Lu died mysteriously, which led to his two younger brothers who had left to train as Buddhist priests to fight over who would inherit the clan. These two brothers were Itan Genko, Yoshizane, Imagawa and Shoho Baigaku Yoshimoto Imagawa uh, Yoshimoto is laughing and his sensei, sensei is saying 
What are you laughing about? Surely you don't believe you have won this battle. No, it's not that, but when I think about all the people involved in this ugly feud, I can't help but laugh. Oh, what do you mean? Me, Jukai asks. We have... Sasai... Taijen, my master, my mother, my brother, and myself. All of us are in the service of the Buddha, and yet look as quibbling about a uh, worldly matter like the succession of a clan. What times these are, do you not find it amusing? Uh, Lord Yoshimoto, you would do well to keep one thing in mind. What is this, a lecture? No matter how chaotic the world may be, the teachings of Buddha are the truth. However, there are no Buddhas in the Age of War. So that means there are none but demons here? Learn from the Buddha, but do not let yourselves become a Buddha. I see, then I suppose I will have to become a demon and win no matter what it takes. Yoshimoto had two talented guardians watching over him, Jukeni and Sasai. On the other hand, Yoshizane had the support of the chief Emigawa retainers and Fukushima and the Fukushima clan. However, Yoshimoto and the son of his father's legal wife, Ju Kaini, whereas Yoshizane, despite being the older brother, was the son of a concubine. Therefore, Yoshimoto had the upper hand in this dispute. I think it's pretty cool how it actually goes through a bunch of the historic events of the feudal era and explains them to you. It'd be neat if the Civilization games did that, but they don't, and that's why this game exists, I guess. I'll... Okay, so it looks like I have th three units here. Set target to this unit. Hmm. Not sure if I'm doing this right. Okay, that's easier to see. Set target to this. Set target to this. Okay. Uh, going to... I'm surprised that... This is the clan that's helping them? I don't understand why it takes 22 months to gain 6 trust. That is an insane amount of time to even be worth it. Okay, I think I'm going to develop in here some conscripts. And everybody wants me to develop on crafts, okay. here before I end my turn.
Okay, set so target to here. When units move, they move towards objective posts, units, and bases you sent. Units move along roads on their way to their objective and automatically enter with their enemy units they encounter along the way. Allied and friendly units cannot overtake each other on the road, however, uh, up to three units can occupy a post at the same time. Okay. Uh, taking control of posts will allow you to fight with greater numbers than on roads, and since fortifying makes them even stronger, give them uh, those a try too. Uh, a strategy against many units on the same post is a pincer attack. But, uh, sorry, by attacking an enemy unit from multiple sides, you can gain an advantage in combat. Tactics 101. Uh -huh. When you can't control a post employing a pincer attack, you may give the extra, you may gain the extra punch you need. Okay. Um, these guys should go home. He's also These guys I want to enter. And these last guys I'm gonna send. Okay. Why is it paused? these flags about. Yeah, it's a ground force. Oh. Yeah, it's a ground force. That guy must be heading home. And still... Oh no, I didn't mean to end my turn. Let us decide what to do with the captives. Please select those that you wish to employ and those you do not wish to employ. Let's try and... I'm honored that you've spoken to me, but I have no intent on betraying uh, the Shimado clan. Okay. Well, let's just let him go. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we have the entire peninsula now, so that's really good. Um, the messengers come from the Etho clan. I'll listen to them. Uh, Yoshisuke Ito. Let's form an alliance. 12 month alliance. We're gonna accept. First Alliance. Okay. Oh, this guy over here. Perfect. He probably sees my expansion as a threat, so... That's good. That allowed me to concentrate on here and this over here. So I think what I'm going to do now... Uh, I'm just going to quickly speed up time a little bit here. I think what we're going to do now is gain trust with the surrounding tribes. 
Because I think if I attack people, my trust has actually gone down. Uh, and then after, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to try and increase the commerce and the food production of my cities to grow the populations. And uh, send my soldiers uh, to build better roads so that my population can grow. Uh, yeah. And uh, I think I'm going to end this video here for now.